What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to be harassed by KDude while I uh t while I teach you a first life tutorial. Also, what the hell dude, how are people getting the this money? Also, oh they're shit, really Lisa, 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 uh, Lisa. They're they're not. Do, they're I, one in a thousand. That's pretty rare I'd say, but to a certain extent, no. Alright. Yeah. Let's get started. So first off, just load in on your brand new slot, and then today, uh, we want to do from just five hundred dollars to QN. So, also finally, I got a new thumbnail. I'm not a big fan of the executive pillars thumbnail. I'm gonna be honest. All right. Now let's go ahead and get started. Now you could open your daily gift. K, okay, dude, I swear to God, stop harassing me. Oh. What? I'm just being the minions from the Minions movie. Jeez. Banana. Don't take my crates. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys are so mean to me. That's not me. That's your friend. I'm not taking them. I'm staying over here. Alright, so first off, um, we want to get our basic iron mines. Um, also, when you load the end of the game, you should have a pre-built base. Just withdraw all. Uh, you can do that by canceling out of the tutorial and then pressing um, C. And then you could just withdraw all. Then you're gonna get your basic iron mines. Just as many as you can from your daily gift. You're gonna place down your conveyors. And then, okay dude. Also, just, uh, just a note, I'm gonna be doing guides for pretty much anything during this series we're gonna do like life 100 tsgg we're pretty much gonna do all of it i really want to do the best i can to give you guys a really good experience into the game so i'll probably be doing a video a day um depending on how much i grind um might be every, every one other day hundred thousand yeah it depends it depends all right so then once you get all of these down, you simply want to place um, an ore purifier machine. These are really good. They add, I believe, $9, but I'm not too sure. Um, and then you're just going to get dozens of tens of dollars really fast. And we want to save up for a few grand. We want to buy a large ore upgrader. Um, so this this will be really really useful now what we want to do is no kd no um we want to, i like how it's just slowly Funny. moving down the conveyor too it's the norm man banana ore now we're getting twenty dollars but if we place this here just like this You're making like a classic noob setup where they have 15 million mines with three different furnaces. That's pretty epic. Okay, why are you doing this? I'm looping it. Ah, oh, okay. You want to cut off your ore supply once you get a decent amount of ores, I'd say. And you're going to wait for this to start flickering. Alright, so okay. also the way ores work in this game is... Uh, at least for this upgrader, it does make ores shinier, so they will become slowly darker because they have so much shine on them. So once they have that much uh, shine, all you want to do is simply um, bring your furnace over, and, oh, and iron mine. you'll get a ton of good ores. Now, once you are done with that, you want to get out an ore incinerator, and then buy a cell furnace if you don't still have the one from earlier, because the ore incinerator is going to be good furnace in the long run. But we need to get some good ores, so we're gonna buy it. We're gonna buy a uh, a few gold mines here. I think would be best, and then just place these around. These are just fast money. Save up for the gold excavator. It's extremely overpowered with any cell furnace, really. 
and then just click the button a few times go up to like a hundred K cash Bro, someone got a shiny big bad blaster. That's so OP. How much you want to bet? I swear to God, if it's not just a reskin, that's so overpowered. All right. Okay, I was gonna oh, say. Shiny I was gonna say. Mine. Shiny stone have better stats. Thank God. I I didn't get to play it all yesterday, so I don't know like how shinies work and stuff. So. Uh yeah. They're basically just literally shiny. They're just like they're okay. Yeah, I was gonna say if they had if they had better reskins and stuff, that would have been pretty pog all right so i guess now that we have a, a reasonable amount of money let's get some uh conveyor ramps because these are really good long run and then you also want to start rp farming too don't forget that so in the corner of your base i'd say you could simply put a um i'm just gonna i'm just gonna put a barrier here because i know that you're not gonna have the larger base All right, so now that we have the the barrier of the base, because when you buy executive, your base goes out um, a few studs. So I'm just putting, I'm just um, I'm just putting these here to represent how big the actual base is, which is this much. So we're not gonna cross those walls. All right, I don't know if I paused the video a few times actually, but I don't know. We'll we'll see you later. Now, pretty much, um, we just want to get rid of those little extra ores on the corner. Um, if I were you, rack up some UC and simply just buy one of these. If possible, these are really big help, the reversible conveyors, but I'm going to do my best not to use any of those because I want to make this a simple just reborn and finish the video. So we are going to buy a few plasma iron polishers because those are really good. We're going to buy an ore scanner. Actually, let's buy two. And then we are gonna buy, I think I think that's all for now. I guess we could use a military grade conveyor. Uh, let's buy some of those because those are gonna be good. Okay, now let's loop our ores one more time, except first I want to replace a few things. Um, Wait, what did someone get? Oh, bro, someone got a shiny Stellarite mine. Oh. What the heck? Yeah, I think I'm gonna start grinding for those later, but that'll that'll be neat. Um, no point in doing a review, though, because they're literally just got... Um... So, yeah. Alright, let's... Let's keep on going. You want to replace these with Foxy should make an anime iron mine self for in Alright, uh we wanna get gold mines here on the side. Alright, now that they might hopefully be done harassing me. Um we are going to get this out. place down our conveyors like this and then you want to put this here oh yeah wait we can use the um, the new furnace I forgot and then just cut off your ore supply like you uh, usually do wait for these to uh, loop through the uh, large ore upgrader at least a decent amount also now that we have the ramps and stuff like that most of the ores should not be getting stuck if anything they might just get stuck here but they should do a pretty good job at not getting stuck i'd say because um they are farther out rather than just being stuck on the very end like this so you should be good to go now i'd say um, I'd say after an, an amount of time like this, you can just do 
Oh my god. Alright. You could just um, send your orders through. You should already be at millions. So we're going pretty good, I'd say. Alright, then once you guys get a decent amount of money, I'd say, probably in the in the low millions, we want to buy we we definitely want to upgrade some stuff. So um, I would say buy the quantum processor. It's a really good furnace. It does times four for multiplier. So I'd say that's pretty good. Then we're also gonna buy two diamond mines because those are also extremely powerful. Um, and then we want to get the old. Um, no. We want to get stuck as well. We want to get the um the dropper, uh the the excavator. I mean out. Mysterious, we're both stuck in the ground now. Good. Oh, it's okay, guys. We can just flashlight spam now. Oh my god, I quit. I quit, dude. I swear to god. No, come over here. Look, just touch the bananas and fling us out. Or the fart crate or something. Just come over here and fix us. <laughs> Holy shit! Alright, now that you guys are just harassing me, um, I'm just gonna try my best to continue the video. Now... We also want to get a, um, we want to get a portable ore advancer because these things are insanely overpowered. Um, we want to get one of those. Uh, we only need one because the way our setup works, we can conserve a lot of space. Now it says you could use it 30 times, so I know exactly how we're going to use this. Um, and then if I were you, I would rack up about enough to get a, um, a few of these now once you get those just do this this is an insane money giver right here you only want three though and then just spam the remote button on the side of your screen Get about a million, and then simply buy the cell incinerator. And then every time you press it, you'll get 200k, so and if you're using all three, you'll get a lot more. Alright, now we are going to buy um some of these definitely need more because these are good long term we're gonna buy some of these and i'd say we could buy like two or three more of these to speed up our to speed up our setup all right now We want to do here is this Ooh, even better we could buy solar conveyors so if we could buy this these in the corner all right now then get your diamond mines out let's also get some light so you could actually see what's going on all right now once you have your ores looping um we are going to cut off ore supply we want banana no and then we want to get our two yeah, ore scanners set up now okay <laughs> and then our plasma iron polishers and then our new furnace and then we could place these down and wait for these to flicker don't don't touch the bananas. 
Just let them go in the setup. Because once these flicker, we will get an insane amount of cash. And just remember, the overall goal here is to get you guys a rebirth. Um, because I do know that without too much... Um, without too much prior uh, knowledge of the game, the first life is obviously insanely hard. Um, a lot of people tended to struggle on their first life, so I want to give you guys the best first life experience. Alright, so now, this is finished looping, but we need to wait for these. Alright. Are you laying down? Just doesn't answer, okay. Oh, wait, like, IRL? Yeah, I can see your webcam. No, I'm just sitting in my chair. I just have a blanket. Alright. Slouch. Yeah, now we're still making millions. So that's that's pretty good, I'd say. We have enough for a new furnace, the elevated furnace. Um, that'll be good later on. Let's get the ore gate so then we don't have to worry about this kind of um, issue with ores dying. And then, yeah, our goal pretty much here is to just get as much cash out of this as possible. So... Um, I guess, I guess we'll have to wait because we do need a ramp first. Now, just keep looping your ores and spamming this down, um, until you get enough money to keep going. Also, I prefer you, um, you aim for some, some goodies like the emerald mine. These are pretty cheap but they do give a pretty decent amount of cash, if I recall. Um, let's actually test that out real quick. So this with the cell incinerator gives... 800k. So you could honestly... Honestly, I think we should just make a farm of these. So we're just going to withdraw all this. And then let's get enough money for some more goodies. Place a few of these down. And then wait for 25 million to buy another emerald mine. Every time um, you buy an emerald mine, just place it on the side of one of these. You just want to work up to about 500 million. So shouldn't be too hard i'll see you when we get there all right so once you get 500 million i almost hit a billion actually um you want to get the plutonium excavator and then you want to get your cell incinerator put the two emerald mines right here oh it's, it's not even placing okay and then you just want to Spam click this until you get about a billion dollars. And then you'll be a billionaire. Alright guys, so once you hit um, about 950 million, we're going to go into the shop. And we're going to buy the cell processor. Now you could get rid of these three items, but you want to keep this here. And we are simply just going to farm off this for a little while, because this gives insane cash. I'd recommend just um, even leaving an auto clicker on just one of the buttons uh, and then coming back like 10 minutes later, you'd have an insane amount of money. But it's best to just sit here and click all three buttons, maybe while watching a YouTube video or something. Really just good ways to farm some of your first billions because we do need billions in order to pretty much proceed into the next part of the game because billions... Um, Millions and billions are like the key parts of first life and then once you get into trillions everything becomes insanely just given to you and It gets really really easy very fast So this is like the harder part of first life Um, you just want to you want to grind for a little bit and then we'll we'll see where we're at next All right, so now that you have about close to 10 billion Um, I I've also uh, given the recommendation can you come over here real quick? Um, I have a recommendation of getting a friend in the game to click another plutonium excavator with you, and then you'll get double resources. As you can see, the money spikes up way or faster. Or 
I swear to God, Katie, dude. As you can see, it, it gives a lot more. Um, we're going uh, probably, I'd say about 10, like a tenth of a billion every, uh, every second or so. So it only takes about 10 seconds per billion. So th that's, that's pretty good, I'd say. All right. Now, um... Let's get the large converter. Let's get a or teleporter sender. Let's get the receiver as well, because that is pretty good. Um, industrial diamond mine is also really good for uh, for farming, so I highly recommend you get one of those and just AFK with it, I guess. Um, on a furnace like this i will explain how industrials work you literally just get a ton of coal mines on a conveyor and then you place them going into the furnace on the mine as you could t as you could tell it has that that little um furnace right here it's the purple part um it's really really useful okay then we're gonna buy an ore tracker an ore magnifier um, I would say to buy or replicator, but I'd rather you guys focus on a way up high upgrader. Um, and I'd say that's about it for now. So we're going to remove this. Place this down. Get this. And then we want to buy a few of these. Place one over here. Get some mines. And then you want to just get an ore tracker. Now, honestly, what I'd prefer is you do this the right way, and um, actually, we could we could make this a lot easier. So just place it like this. Um, no need to worry about any extra conveyors. And then I need to get the size of this. So buy buy a second receiver. Okay, so it's three tiles long. So three tiles out, we are going to place this. We're gonna place our two scanners. Also, I think that's good for ores. 75 ores is plenty. Um, what else could we do? Oh yeah, uh, we could buy another converter ramp. And then we could place down our elevated furnace. Um, yeah, there's... Oh wait, there are some better furnaces we could use. Um, get the raised furnace actually and just place a ramp with it right there, so. Just like that. And then let your orders loop, and I'll explain how to get them out of the loop and into the conveyor safely. Once you guys um, have orders in the hundreds of millions, I think that would be good enough to continue on. Now we could simply place down a receiver right here. Don't withdraw the other one because it will kill some ores and we want as many good ores as possible. Now, you're just going to get an insane amount of billions. Um, once you called Foxy a Jew. Bro, oh my god. Dude, I swear to god, this game, this game, ever since like three days ago, the shouts have been so offensive. It's not even funny anymore, man. Yeah. That's this community for you. Also, I'm pretty sure oh. you just got me demonetized, but it's okay. This community All right, so pretty much um, once you get, I'd say about 500 um, billion or so, just buy some nuclear conveyors, then get 
a um I think it was a dig yes a digital earth laner um, buy as many as you can but these will be extremely useful later on uh, because these are like the best for looping bro, then we're gonna yeah, also buy a precision earth laner bro no way and then this is the best way to loop digital or cleaners put two or no put three of these down and then do them in sets of three but space them out by four tiles just like this okay perfect then you're gonna put this back and then once you start to see these um, flicker, or at least once the ore value is in the hundreds of millions, um, I would say the best way to keep going is just by um, you know, I, I'd say just by placing down the portable ore advancers in the loop. Um, You know, so here we go. Uh, I don't like it exactly. All right. So what I recommend, by the way, is placing um, a way up high upgrader with um, the ramp at the end because this this has a much higher uh, upgrade rate. This will speed up your loot by a lot. So just just a big um, recommendation. All right, so once you have ores decent enough to at least be finished upgrading by these, I'd say in the billions, um, all you want to do is put these on the side right here, just like this. And then once you're done placing these down, wait for them to start flickering. Because then your ores are going to be in, honestly, the tens of billions. And then you should even have ores finished upgrading by these. And then you're pretty much set to get a free on blast upgrader. Alright, now I think I would say it's okay to... Um, Send your ores into here. Easy trillions. Alright, now this is when the game might be a little bit fast. So we are going to buy, I'd say, a few centering conveyors. Then let's get... Um, Let's get one cursed ore purifier and then let's get let's get if as many free on blast upgraders as possible. We can then remove this and these. Put a centering conveyor right here. Put two Freons right here. And just kind of do this with as many as you can. And these upgrade really fast um i also recommend buying a better mine so i'm gonna kill these ores really quick um and then we could buy i'd say buy something like painite or bismuth because those have pretty good values
Yeah, so these start at 45k. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to place down this because it adds 40k to the value. So these will have a really, um, really big uh, really big value for starting. Sorry, I just had a really big brain fart. But, oh shit. Um, oh, he oh. said the PP word. <laughs> the ratio of cock to ball torture. You know I'm not paused. I know. Yeah, this video is already like hella demonetized thanks to K Dude. Oh, yeah. Now, once you get maxed out ores, you want to. Uh, you want to just place like a row of these along the side. And then do it on the other side too, just so then you don't have to wait as long. Also, could we get hashtag KDude stop dem demonetizing my videos um, in the comments? Alright, yeah, these are basically worth trillions. So at this point, we can just. Oh my god, that's a lot. Jesus. That's a, of, that's a lot of coom. It's a lot of, uh... Dude, Yocto has literally gotten two, um, shinies already. Congrats, Yocto. Nice. Alright, now I think we need to upgrade our upgrader line here. So, oh my god, okay, dude. Uh, we are gonna place three... Advanced ore scanners. We can place. I think that's pretty much it. We're just gonna replace these, and we'll also get a better furnace. Electronic furnace is like a thousand times better. Why can I ride this one conveyor? <gasps> Wait, banana can ride this. Oh my god, banana! Yes. Oh. I just went so flying. I'm. I just went now. so flying. I'm outside of the water area. I'm literally so far away that the water is a box. It's not even. I'm above the water. Okay, so we're gonna use Paynight here because Paynight is great for end game setups because of its good value. We're gonna put some of these down to bring up the value as much as possible. Um, also, don't forget to. Oh, damn, that placement was horrible. Don't forget to subscribe to Katie, guys. Okay. Um, after that, let's just kill all of our ores again. I don't know why they put Pulsar in the upgrader part. It's not an upgrader. No, it should be in the furnace section. I think like it, it should always be. Was. That it was, was always in the furnace section. It should have been like that forever. Yeah. All right. Because it destroys orbs. Exactly. I guess it's technically the machines tab, not the upgraders tab, but that's dumb. Yeah, I still call it upgraders tab, and I always will. Same. Because it's literally a picture of an upgrader. Machines. Well, technically, aren't all these things machines? I mean, yeah, everything's a machine, except the nature -y items like Dreamers. Well, they still have machinery in them. True. All right. Now, I'd say just get your ores maxed out. And then just put these into the setup once once you have a decent amount of money. Um also to give yourself some time Let's do this. Alright, so these are maxed out. Now we are going to... Just do that. Alright. 
Seems like the setup is ready. You just place this down and then go click on this. Perfect, quadrillions. Oh my god, that's a lot. How much is that giving? A hundred trillion? I saw an ore worth a hundred trillion. Here, let's see the bananas. Oh. Uh. What? <laughs> Alright, now... You fly. Also, guys, if you, um, if you would like more, um help in the future with um the game i do have a discord that i usually use to connect with fans um do videos with people and you know all that good stuff so if you would like some future help in the miners haven universe please join the discord below um it doesn't just help you out but it also helps me out so consider it doesn't no need doesn't to join just help I swear to God, I messed that up, and I probably said it doesn't help you. Or it, uh, uh, it doesn't just, just, help just, just, join, just join, just join, just join the Discord if you want help. Okay, I, I have like five IQ. All right, now once you get quadrillions, you obviously want to put Schrodingers into your setup. So we are gonna put, I'd say, about three Schrodingers into the setup. No, these are four by two, so you really can't put many upgraders on the side or anything. Um, but you know, it's still useful to put them in. Let's put this over here. Alrighty, place this down. Yeah, you just want to let your ores upgrade. Oh, shit. I have that down. We should not have that. All right. Just start looping. Once you're done, you should have way more money than you did the first time. So I'll see you then. Also, the main trick to, to rebirthing here is just every time you get enough, place more Schrodinger's, but stop at about 10. Um, 10 to 14 is like the best range uh, for amounts of Schrodinger's. Alright, so here we go. Now this is with uh, the three Schrodinger's. Oh my god. So yeah, these randomized ore value, you could get ores worth like $5 and you could get ores worth insane amounts of money. It's more just more or less just your luck. Um, but yeah, it's still, either way, extremely useful. Alrighty. Now, I'm going to put these ones in. Now we're at about seven, so the RNG is kind of becoming stronger. Place down a wall, by the way, uh, so then your ores just don't die. these here and then we're gonna get the receiver
Alright. Boom, now we're getting... I'd say a really nice amount of income. So, we're gonna put... We're gonna put two of these into the setup at the end. So, let's get rid of these. Let's place this here. Place these here. Okay, so those aren't good enough ores. So we can't put more Schrodinger's in yet, but instead we can place this. And this. Also, I'm going to wipe my ores real quick because I don't want these being fully upgraded just yet by the portables. Alright, and then you just want to keep upgrading your ores and pretty much just just wait until you get enough money. Alright. You paused? Oh, never mind. Then we are gonna put this right here. We need more good ores to come through. All right. So we could do this. Then it's more or less just hoping we get something really good, or wise. So yeah, you pretty much just want to start grinding off this technique. And I'll see you when I get enough money to proceed all right so we should be able to get a lot of money out of this you're not paused i know bro i wish i still had my voice or my uh sound board come on give me a good or Yeah, we're not getting any good ores. Jesus Christ, why do I have to keep wiping my hands from these freaking hot chips on my legs? All right, time to grind more. So, Remember pretty guys, much, you guys... <laughs> Says K, dude, who cheated his whole um, first life series. Yeah, we all know that DD wasn't real. All right, so, pretty much... Uh, all you want to do is uh, simply, you know, all you want to do is simply add in things like ion fields with cannons and put in orbital upgraders and stuff. Um, and just kind of hope for the best and especially put portable macrowaves um, 
just pretty much work with what you have, and you'll eventually get there if you don't get extremely lucky. I don't know how I managed to get this lucky, but it did happen. So, yeah. Alright, guys, peace out. Let's see what I get. Oh, I actually got something good. Alright. Bye. Uh.